Hello there, this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today for another Simple Stamping Saturday. Those are the cards that we'll be making. That is my sample card. We're going to be using the Love What You Do stamp set along with the Share What You Love designer series paper. And that is what our card is going to look like. There I used Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam. We're going to pick it up in a minute. Our colors today are going to be Grapefruit Grove and Fresh Fig. So let's get started. I am pulling in my Stamparatus and I have a couple more hacks on that for you today. And all their measurements and everything for the paper I cut and you know the usual will be down below in the YouTube description and over on the blog I also have a giveaway going on of the cardstock and that stamp set that you see right there so I'm going to ink it up with Grapefruit Grove and lay that down and it's gonna look pretty good to me I sped up the video as I was editing it but it's not looking at it or looking like it when I did the voiceover And I should have gotten a sponge dauber here and lightly gone around the edges because when I lay that down, you're gonna it's just not working the way that I want. But it's you know, it it's okay. It's handmade. I'm switching outdoors now. I'm gonna line back up the cardstock again. I'm going to put down some memento tuxedo black on top of my sentiment and the image and give that a really good press because I, I like my sentiments to be bold so they pop out and especially with a clean and simple card you have to have something popping and that's why it's stuck to the paper a little bit because I, I put it down. I set that aside to dry and now we're going to work on the inside and I have that friend sentiment there. This is a nice friendship card, just something to send for a pick-me-up whenever you want to send it out. That's going to go down in black as well. I want to make sure that everything is lined up. And if you pay attention, I'm getting ahead of myself, to the grid marks here. I'll show you that in a couple minutes. This is where it's going to make things line up. That right there shows you on the door on the right why sometimes it's hard to get everything down the magnet did not help but if you have problems going in that corner that's why I'm setting aside the Stamparatus right now and I have no idea why I let this in I am just going to adhere some cardstock some of that designer series paper back to the envelope flap and then remember the hack thing I have going on Pulling the Stamparatus back in, making sure my direction's going straight with that. Press that down. And I have no idea why I'm using these scissors because, again, those are the ones that nailed my thumb. And that was, it was a traumatic injury, believe it or not. And I look at them and get the willies now. So that was our envelope. I have all my ink dry. And I'm using up the designer series paper because it's going to go away in two months. And where I can put it, I am going to put it. So that strip right there is going down at the bottom. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Just those edges there. Use the side of your cardstock to as a guide. And I've done more adhering in this video than anything else. So we're going to get that down at quarter inch margins on the inside. Now for the outside, I only have an eighth inch margin on the basic black. And it's small enough to where I don't feel like I need something to help me line it up. But I'm going to do it here anyway, just to show you how I use the grid marks or the lines on the grid paper to help me line up. They are quarter inch spaces and I kind of fudge it where I put my 
where the basic black is a little bit just so I have a clear sight line at least on two to three edges and again more adhesive I really should have sped this up but it made my head spin when I try this is where you want to use your quarter inch markings down there at the bottom line you see and then over on the side and over on the top and then boom we are done add some little rhinestones to the bottom of those flowers those three flowers lots of ways that you can doll this up to make it jump out and just have fun with it so I hope that you like this thank you so much for stopping by to visit me today hit like and subscribe visit me at the blog at Cindy B designs and I will see you again next week